Hey guys, Norman here from That's The Norm, where we talk about culture, communication, and creativity. And in this video, we're going to talk about books, which does not start with a C. Well, it's creative, so I guess it counts. Anyway, I recently went to the Big Bad Wolf convention, which is a huge discount book, like fair or a convention or event, uh, where they sell a whole bunch of books of many different genres of all kinds for you know, more than half price. And I bought a lot of them, 52 books. So in this video, we're going to take a look at all 52 of them. So we have this one tote bag here, which has books in them. And we have a luggage bag full of books. Let's get right into it. Okay, cool. So these are not in any particular order. The first book is Serial Killers and Psychopaths, True Life Cases That Shocked the World by Charlotte Gregg and John Marlowe. Right there. I picked that book because I wanted to see into the minds of serial killers and why do they think that way? Why do they justify, you know, killing people? What makes them think that that's, you know, morally correct or ethical? Maybe that book might give some insight. Book number two, it's a notebook from Art File. It looked really pretty, so I guess that's uh, why I bought it. I was also hoarding notebooks to use for the next year as well, so good timing. Number three, Shores of Knowledge by Joyce Appleby. New World Discoveries and the Scientific Imagination. Right here. Discoveries in the Renaissance age have always been very fascinating, you know, the Leonardo da Vinci's and all that. The advent of polymaths, which is a huge subject of interest uh, for me. So anything on that, I'll just grab. Number four, notebook. Notebook. Yeah. Another one. I'm just hoarding it again. Number five, another notebook. Notebook. Number six, Silence by Shusaku Endo. Right here. So, Shusaku Endo is a very notable author uh, all around the world. I've always wanted to properly read his works. So, now that this is a chance, a uh, very good way to pick up a book from him, I decided to take it. A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. It's a classic. I wanted to reread it. The last time I did was back in school, back in Holland. So, yeah. Why not jump at the chance? Plus, it also has a very interesting introduction, so very memorable. Roald Dahl, the next one. Madness, Tales of Fear and Unreason. I have the rest of the series somewhere in here as well, so let's try and find it. Fear, Cruelty, Trickery, Lust. So that's five. I should have one more, but I think it's in the other pack. So, Roald Dahl has always been an inspiring author for me growing up, reading his children's books. But now that you have these uh, not so children, childish books at hand, maybe I can see another side of him. So, yeah. Next one Leo Tolstoy, What is Art? I've already lost count of the number, so uh, if you could kindly uh, remind me. Number 13. The question, what is art, sounds very fascinating to me. So that's why I took it. <laughs> Age of Discovery. Once again, another Discoveries book. The New Rules of Work. I wanted to get this because it seemed very fascinating to look at the different trends in how people are working nowadays. Now that I'm freelancing and all that, maybe there's some insight from this book that we gain. So, yes, I got that. Oh no. Gizmo heard me on Aristotle. Saving politics from philosophy. That's a very fascinating sentence to say. Ah, oh, what are you doing? I wanted to read up more on Aristotle or anything, so, yeah. Uh, 
I am joined by my sidekick, Gizmo. Eh, eh, kitare, kitare, eh, eh, eh. Now we'll look at the luggage bag. The Samurai, Warrior Elite, Jonathan Clements. I wanted to get as many references to Samurai and uh, Japanese culture as much as I possibly can to help me in my writing. Gone too soon. Me and my dad were talking about the 27 Club, the famous musicians who just died too fast or too early. So when I saw this, I thought maybe I could read up more about that phenomenon. So. Fuji! Pictures of Ukiyo-e or the floating world. I have a collection of my own from a friend of mine whose father owns a newspaper company and he gave me a newspaper quality print copy of a whole bunch of Ukiyo-e or floating world you know, woodprint blocks stylistic Japanese artworks so having a book like this is also a good way to well, look back at those prints and actually understand them and to find more so yeah the Amazons any form of history I'm gonna pick it up <laughs> the noir A to Z the noir well it looks very adult, judging from the judging from the uh, description. Photographer Julian Hibar offers an abecedary unlike hmm? yeah, abecedary unlike any other pairing. A word with one of his photographs for all twenty-six letters in the alphabet. The resulting book evokes a shadowy, sexy, and voyeuristic noir aesthetic. So, if you want some noir aesthetic. Here you go. Death by Water by Kenzaburo Oe, another famed author and uh, winner of the Nobel Prize for Literature, according to the front of the cover. So, writing on the wall, social media for the first 2,000 years. The attention is a very interesting currency in the information age. So. Maybe looking back at the history of social media or media in general is a good way to understand more about it. So, yeah. The Ideal Museum and Art Lover's Dream Collection. I love museums. I love getting lost in them. You can find something new every time you go to the same museum over and over again. Because you're going to learn something more about it. So, maybe this is a good reference for pretty museums to check out next time or how museums should look like or maybe their aesthetics because it's just nice to look at beautiful things like that. Art of Ceramics by Carolina Amel. Ceramics also an interesting form of art that I appreciate. Or, well maybe I don't understand it fully but I do like the look. So Some ceramics just look. The Two-State Delusion on Israel and Palestine. Palestine? Palestine? Uh, I don't fully understand the conflict. I saw the conflict um, in a museum, the Islamic Museum in Malaysia, and there's a timeline of how it happened, but I still don't fully comprehend it. So I think this is a good way for me to read up more about the conflict itself and gain a better understanding, a better perspective. More of Roald Dahl. War and Deception. The Genesis of Science by James Hannon. Of course, going back to the Renaissance age, and this particular picture is always interesting to me, always catches my eye. So, you're starting to see a theme, right? It's like 
all the discovery things and all the geniuses of that age is like super cool to me. <laughs> Cities of gold, legendary kingdoms, quests and the search for fantastic new world wealth. Sonic quest, sorry. I'm a fan of things like Indiana Jones, where it's very adventurous. You, know, you explore these cultures and you find all these mystical artifacts and legendary things and stories. So this is probably the closest thing to something that's more non-fiction, something that actually exists, actual cities of gold. Well, that's what I got the uh, impression from the front cover, so yeah. Also, gold. Who doesn't love it? The Travels of Marco Polo. Here. It already looks so cool. Like I said, I'm an adventure freak. I love that kind of stuff. The best of Paulo Coelho. Here. I already have The Alchemist, but I haven't read the others. So now that I have the actual hard copy versions of these, it will encourage me to actually read them. Oh, so, yeah, looking forward to it. Alchemist is one of my favorite books. The Age of Wonder by Richard Holmes. More on the romantic age of science, more on the discovery part, more on that age. The more the merrier. <laughs> Altruism by Matthew Picard. There you go. Altruism, well, fascinating concept talking about goodwill. I've started researching more into philanthropy and the act of kindness and all that. So to have references like these will be beneficial for me. In the Labyrinth of Drakes, a memoir by Lady Trent. I love fantasy stuff. Honestly, the, the artwork got me. That's, that's actually the only reason. <laughs> I love dragons. <laughs> There's no other reason. Van Gogh. Probably a collection of Van Gogh's works. Just nice to look at. Bonker Bounder, Beggarman Thief. A compedium of rogues, villains, and scandals. I love villains in movies and other mediums and all that. So maybe these are actual real villains that I can take a look at. Maybe refer to them in stories that I write. And you know, just thoughts to wonder on. The Renaissance Society. Oh, right here. My assumption is that this focuses more on being multi-skilled, uh, being a multi-potentialite being able to do multiple things uh, and provide different kinds of services at the same time as an individual. And that's something that I really resonate with, so that's why I got it. The Tides of Mind, Uncovering the Spectrum of Consciousness. This just sounded interesting. I'm talking about, it could be an expert on providing a scientific approach to why we maintain this spectrum for conscience, consciousness and maybe we all feel it differently from each other. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Samurai. The unofficial warrior's manual. More references to Samurai and Bushido, which I have been reading about recently, which is nice. How he invented freedom and why it matters. Freedom is an interesting concept. We tend to feel it, although it's a societal construct in itself. Maybe I could gain more insight on that. Are we really free? Richard Branson, Finding My Virginity. I like Richard Branson's backstory. After hearing Tubular Bells, he started the Virgin Music Records company and from there he went from industry to industry and now he's jumping from to and fro but it really fits him as a person so I really respect him for that and wanted to find out more about it. The Self Beyond Itself, an alternative history of ethics, the new brain sciences and the myth of free will. The title got me. It sounded interesting. Also the person's name is Heidi M. Raven. Raven? Raven? Pretty cool name. Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu. It's been referred to multiple times in the 
Bushido non-fiction book by Inazo Nitobe. I've always wanted to learn more about what this is. My assumption is that it's、uh, philosophy from Chinese influence or Chinese origin. So yeah, it's always nice to gain wisdom from different perspectives. Another Shusaku and Do- Volcano. Uh, uh, uh. Ma, ma. Volcano. More of Shusaku and Do. And Japanese literature to read. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Long it. Okay. Last few books. Tender is the Night by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I haven't read this yet. I have no clue what it is, but it's a Fitzgerald book. No problem. You're really good. Vintage Mishima, Thirst for Love. I just want to see what this is about. <laughs> My escape from North Korea, a thousand miles to freedom, by Moon Sun Kim. Escape memoirs are interesting. It, they force you to immerse yourself in struggle between escaping from your country and going to another place for a safe harbor. And、uh, I guess books are probably the best way to do that. Side note: There's quite a few North Koreans in Sarawak, if I remember correctly. <laughs> a World of Three Zeros by Muhammad Yunus. Looking at different、uh, macro-level topics:、uh, poverty, unemployment, carbon emissions. To see how mankind is developing,、uh, it's also something that I'm interested in.、So. The Fall of the Ancient Maya by David Webster. I, if I remember correctly, Mayans were quite a were quite a strong civilization back then, and were thriving. They had technologies that were ahead of their time, and now they fell. So, yeah, I want to see what's what happened to them. Clocks on fiction, probably a good reference for writing my own short stories. Because、uh, I do do the、uh, Tempered Fables short story fiction podcast, so having more inspiration, advice from other writers who've done this before, is、uh, also al- al- almost always a good thing. So, yeah. And the last one: Does altruism exist? Culture, genes, and the welfare of others. So yeah, that's it. That's my haul from Big Bad Wolf. If you enjoyed it, yeah, do leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Maybe one of these books is up your alley in your interest.、Uh, let me know which number, <laughs>、uh, because I lost count. And,、uh, I, I'm gonna read them all. And it's gonna be a ton of info. And,、uh, so yeah, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.